everyone and welcome to Ready Steady Magic with me, Ed. I hope that your imagination is switched on because today I've got a spooky story for you. But we're going to need to see what's inside my magic mystery box. Well, it's something too big for the box this time. It's a bell. Hmm. The bell is broken. This bell is very important in today's story. See if you can spot where the bell comes in. If you'd like to join in with today's story, then raise your finger like this, or use a magic wand if you have one. Wave it in the air as we all say the magic words together. Ready, steady, Magic. It's hard to believe, but the small coastal village of Dunwich was once a thriving, bustling city with eight churches, two monasteries, and a port that rivaled the greatest in all of the world. But today, only a few houses remain. About 500 years ago, great storms swept off the ocean and crashed onto land. Whole buildings were carried out to sea. Legend says that at times of danger, you can still hear the bells of the lost city of Dunwich ringing out on the waves. However, as this story tells, it is on land as well as the sea that the warning bells ring. The people living in Dunwich are mostly dependent on the sea. They are fishermen who trade the fish that they catch for other goods in a nearby village. Often, when they leave for home on a clear, crisp evening, they find themselves walking through dense, swirling fog, so thick that they can barely see their own hand in front of their face. Everyone knew what the problem was. The mists were caused by the restless spirits of dead sailors that came to grief on this treacherous and dangerous part of the English coast. The spirits would rise up out of the waters, leaving the sea and creeping onto the land as a foggy mist, searching for a warm place to stay. The fog would creep under doors and through gaps in the windows, making the houses cold and damp. The people inside shivered, half from the cold, half from fear. One day, a villager noticed that the thick fog tended to leave the ruins of the old church alone. It was rumoured that the old church itself was haunted. The villager needed to repair his house, so he visited the old church and took some stones from it. They were very heavy and he had to take several journeys to move them back to his cottage. On his last visit, he spied a little bell lying in some overgrown grass. He picked it up and carried it home with him in his satchel. When he got home, he tried to ring the bell, but nothing happened. The bell was broken. He placed it aside and forgot all about it as he drifted off to sleep, pleased with his hard day's work. But he was soon woken up. Ding, ding, ding. The man jumped awake. The fog was all around his ankles and in every part of the house. The bell rang louder and faster. Ding, 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 ding. The bell was ringing by itself. There was only one explanation for these spooky events. Strange spirits were ringing a warning through the little bell. The man was frozen with fear. But then he had a good idea. 
he ran out of his house and threw the bell down the well in the village courtyard. Clunk, clang, crash, the bell landed with a thump. The bell is still there to this very day. And every time that the fog is rolling in off the ocean, the little bell begins to shake. But of course, the bell The next time you look out of your window and see that it's all foggy outside, make sure that you wrap up really warm, otherwise you might just get the chills. Happy Halloween everybody! If you'd like to find out when I add more magic videos, then click subscribe here. And why not watch just one more by clicking here?